Good morning, guys. It is about to be a beautiful sunset here in Rust, but today I am playing some solo official vanilla Rust. I think I feel like trying to build like a little nice little boat base today. I saw this spot right here. You have military tunnels, mining outposts, sulfur quarry, trains nearby, and there's a clan on this server which seems loaded. They got cheese, you know what I'm saying? Three diesel for an AK. And maybe we can uh, heist into that shop or something. But we'll see what we get up to. But I do feel like building a cool boat base. I think uh, it's been something I've never done before in Rust. So I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, I'm starting this uh, at 9 at night on a Thursday. So we're killing it. I just woke up. Sleep schedule on point. So what I'm going to do is while it's night, I will get some cards and probably hit an early oil. We need to get a boat, obviously. I have no build design for this uh, boat base, but I think we can make it something kind of cool. I have a couple, like, I guess ideas. I have a concept. I got a ski. Um, and uh, we're gonna see if we can make it happen, but I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, let's get into it. I just wanna say thank you to all of you who are subscribing and watching the videos. It means a lot. Without further ado, let's get some cards and uh, get to it. All right, we got our green card. What's up, Blazers? It's Fred here. You know what I love more than carrying all of Blaze loot? A nice hot meal that's ready to eat in a matter of minutes. Cook Unity delivers pre-prepared dishes by local chefs straight to your door, perfect for those mid-rust wipe cravings. Microwave or oven ready as well for convenience. Oh! I had a little accident. But with how easy to make these meals are, I was able to make another one in a matter of minutes. Subscription plans offer hundreds of chef-prepared meals weekly with options to match your taste and dietary needs. Choose 4 to 16 meals per week and skip, pause, or cancel any time with their flexible plan. Starting at just $11 a meal, I enjoyed dishes like JG's short rib mac and cheese, Korean brisket tacos, and beef and cheese enchiladas. My favorite? The mac and cheese. Creamy, flavorful, and packed with tender short rib. Whether you're in the heat of rust or just craving convenience, Cook Unity has you covered. Go to cookunity.com slash blaze50 or click the link in the description and use code blaze50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals to try them out for yourself. Let's get back to that video now. All right. Bro just radioed in my ear, bro. Uh, I got 300 scrap and uses in cards so this from running the road while it was night i'm gonna buy a blue card and we'll go get a red card i gotta get like nail gun crossbow but i guess we could just go oil i'd be very interested to see if we could possibly eco raid into this shop so i'm gonna see if we can make that happen it's actually really easy to eco raid i think it's like a soft side stone wall so it just takes a couple jackhammers that's literally it all right i have two crossbows crafting uh get some low grade let's uh go up to water treatment Ooh, bradley just got taken go up to water treatment get a red card and head to oil i think i'm pretty much prepared cool all right we have some thing doers on the server even though it's kind of late that is always a good sign we're gonna be living right next to uh mill tons as well so that might actually be pretty hype. All right, got our red card. Now, there, I think there's three diesel here. I could buy an AK. Yep, I could. Three diesel for an AK from this shop in the bottom right, but I think I'll wait. Try and just get an oil first rather than buying a gun from a shop first thing. Although having a gun on oil would probably be very helpful. Actually, Smoil's down right now, which means there's only large. So I might just go buy the AK. I know that's, I, I might as well. If I have to do, I can't just do large with crossbows and bow. I can, but it's hard. Oh, nice little revolver from a crate. A large just got called in too. Damn, even late at night, oil's bumping. Dude, full health AK for three diesel. That's insane. Dude, I need to pick into these shops. These are crazy. Take advantage of the shops. Thank you, Jeff Bozo. Amazon package has been delivered. Oh, it comes specked up, dude. I don't even have to make a flashlight. What a deal. All right, we're gonna head over to Fishing Village and get a boat. Hopefully by the time we do that, oil is up. But we have everything and we're pretty much ready to go. I think, I mean, we actually have too much. I need a backpack or something. 
Wait. I just heard Sam sites shoot down a heli over here. It's probably on that island. I might just buy a boat and go over there. Just check it out. Oil's not up yet anyways. Okay. Oh. What the hell is a fishing tackle? I've never... I've literally never seen that item in this game. This is a fish of vanilla rust. And I have not once ever seen that. I have no clue what that is. Is this like a rare item? I gotta keep this, dude. Frame it or something. I don't know what I just got. Are there any Rust players in chat that know what a fishing tackle does? Alright, I'm gonna put some stuff in the front of the boat. Or at least the important stuff that I really, really care about. Let's go see if we can find this crashed heli. I definitely heard it blow up. I have to keep a very keen eye out for a body bag. I think I see a body bag. I see a geared guy on top of that base, though. I wonder if they're raiding that. I don't know. If there's a guy on the roof of that, I don't think it's worth the risk. All right, let's just go to uh, let's just go to Smoil. Hopefully, it'll come up soon. <sighs> Been waiting on this iceberg, but oil is up. We have a job to do. I'm hoping I get a lot of five five from this, and I hope I well I hope I get countered, but after I get five five, yeah. I think I'm gonna kill the doc scientist. It seems like the smart idea to do. That guy's got an iron head, bruh. That guy just tanked like several, like a hundred headshots. Bruh, I did not beat this many. Okay, I'm gonna chill out and heal. Ooh, more 5-5. Five five. Oh, Heli got taken right next to Missile Silo. And I wanna build right around here, so that's good. We got some juicers at Missile Silo. Yeah, buddy. This is gonna be a, a good server, I'm feeling it. I just have, like, really oddly high ping for some reason. Even though it's a US server. <laughs> Dude, that guy just did like a James Bond death. Bro, like flipped over the railing. All right. We've managed to live. Oh my god, dude. That is a crazy elite crate. Things are looking up for this solo. What? I'm actually hyped. I think we're all clear. Oh my god. I think that's a 1% chance. Dude. This server is a good loot server. It definitely is. L9 is crazy. I don't think I need those crossbows that much anymore. We got meds. We got everything except a large backpack. Alright, let's get this oil crate. And I kind of need to go to outpost to get like a jackhammer. I kind of messed up. I should have... I mean, I guess I could make a wood base and then go there. That's probably the smarter idea. Just have to be on the lookout for anyone countering. Let's see what we get. I don't even... I don't think I need anything out of this crate. And this is gonna be the crate that gives me a good AK or something. Yep, that's how it always goes. Alright, let's get out of here. Hear me out. We have two C4. We could find a base to raid by military tunnels. This is like goaded 2x2 two two raid territory. And then we'll get some tools. Yeah. Maybe I make like a little 1x1. One one. It's kind of scuffed. Oh, I got two armored doors. It's kind of scuffed, but that way at least my loot's kind of safe. I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind that. I'm going to see if I could build my boat base somewhere around probably here. Because you have mining outposts and mill tons and maybe sulfur quarry, which I assume it might be taken, but maybe not. It kind of looks barren. It, there's definitely like a TC right there. It doesn't look walled in or anything. So we could definitely get some use out of sulfur quarry. That is clutch. This is looking like the perfect inlet for a little boathouse. 
Somewhere right about here. No big clans in sight. All right, I'm gonna throw down a one by one. We could use it as a flank base later. Probably right up here, tucked away. Right. Welcome to my very non-conspicuous little home. There is no loot in here. Alrighty. That's pretty much most of the important loot I got. You know? Uh, I am going to go roam around with this 2C4 and see what I can find, I suppose. There has got to be something good around here. Here we go. That looks like an oil refinery. But that looks like it costs a little more than 2C4. It definitely does. I don't think it's worth the risk. It's tempting, but it looks too expensive. I have to choose very wisely about what I'm gonna raid. I need to find like some sort of hidden, hidden base or something, I think. They're building that like right now. They might have turrets though. Why do I just have a funny feeling they like left doors open? God. That is so tempting, but I can't. Oh, that irks me. It's a bad idea. All right, let's check out this shop. Oh my God. Uh, this is what I bought my AK from. That is a small base. This is a small group of friends. That shop is open, but that's not what we bought from. There's a couple more shops though we can pick into. That is a lot of turrets that I need to break. Dude, it's just a high qual pyramid, bruh. <laughs> that is interesting. I still don't see, oh, he's in there, he's online. All right, well, we probably shouldn't raid around here. I wanna go look back up towards my base. I have a good feeling about that area. It's near the snow, it's near mill tons. So any base I find up there is gonna be loaded. I just, I think they're all hidden really well. This guy's online. I think it's all metal. Yeah, it's all metal. I mean, if I can kill him with a door open, I think it's only two doors in. No, my horse! Oh, he's dead, dude. Oh my god, rest in peace. Oh, he's gonna shut everything. No, what the heck? Oh my god, man. I didn't know there was two. Bro, look at this guy. This guy is bricked. They have a tier three and everything. Is he not aware that I'm dead? Like, what if I stand up? What if I, dude, if I stand up? Please. Game. No. Oh my god, I almost had it. I didn't know there was two of them in there. Oh, dude, those guys are going to be loaded though. And it's only, it's only like one foundation to get in. I'll be able to raid that easily. 4C4. Fuck, that was hardcore. That was a that was a risky move that could have been worth it. I didn't know there was two though. Let's lock back in. We gotta get back on track. Those guys though, loaded for sure. We're gonna see if uh we could actually eco raid that pretty easily as long as they're not online. Especially since I know their whole base layout too. Okay, how do I get four C4 or eight rockets really fast? These guys are selling pure T's. What I could do is probably run oil again. Get scrap and then get like a jackhammer, build a base and get like farming, I think. I think that'll be the way to do it. Large is up too. The only problem is I just don't have like clothes, but a naked large oil run never hurt anybody. Damn, dude. Oh, that was close. That was so close. That shotgun is so good, man. It could have been very worth it though. If I had pulled that off, man. Oh, we got mid. If I had pulled that off, that would have been goaded. There's also cargo, but I'm assuming someone will be on it. Naked cargo or naked oil? Which one is dumber? I actually don't think there's anyone on cargo yet. I'm gonna go to cargo, screw it. Damn it, dude, I can't believe I almost had that raid. The AK guy was AFK. See, I assumed that the other guy was the AK guy and I killed him and he was on timer. The play was correct, I just uh, didn't foresee the other guy. Is that a problem? That guy is cruising. I don't think he let anyone on. I think uh, he's just going by, which is good. Oh. 
That guy's coming, for sure. And he's got a backpack, so therefore I need it. You know he's trying to come to cargo. Wait, that tugboat... That tugboat doesn't have any doors on it. It's a tier two in there. Dude, I gotta go to that tugboat for sure. No doors in a free tier two. First crate unlocked. I gotta be really careful because I think I'm about to get countered. I'm pretty sure that MP5 guy with the backpack was on his way. I really want that backpack, bro. Two drones and some armor. Actually, stone gate might be good. Might be good for the boathouse. All right, give me a face mask. This is not gonna fly, bruh. Okay, well, that'll fly. Got our AK back. That's nice. Bro, what is it with people and building pyramids on this server? There's multiple pyramids. Look at that thing, that's a wizard hat. It's the haunted wizard hat base. I gotta build one of those. New Rust Pyramid Meta. Look at that guy, he just spawned in. It kind of looks like Spoon Kid. Hold on. Editor, we're gonna redo that. Look at that guy. He just spawned in. Kinda looks like Spoon Kid. Definitely a Spoon Kid, actually. Give me something good. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. And we're pretty close to a harbor, so I could just recycle there. Things are looking up. Maybe... Maybe the strat is to get a mini. I know that's kind of based, considering I don't even have a base yet. I don't think I really need a mini. I, honestly, I don't think this cargo was... Eh, maybe. I could maybe get a mini from this cargo. I don't think I'm going to keep any components for now. Maybe I'll keep some pipes for rockets to raid those guys in the snow, but I will be keeping none of this. Okay, well, we ended up with just over a thousand scrap. I need to go get that tugboat that was down there with that tier two, because then I could just get a tier three. I don't need to make a stop to outpost just yet. Then I can also depot at my front door too, which is nice. The best part about living next to the ocean. Let's be uh, rather timely about this. I have to pray that there's a hammer somewhere in here maybe. Oh. There's like some leftovers. Oh, oh, there's a hammer away from cargo. 150 free low grade? All right. We're out of here. It's a good tugboat find. Alrighty. 1300 scrap. Alright, we need to get like a better house though. Where's my hatchet? Did I die with my hatchet? That's actually a big loss. I'm salty about that. Uh, I guess I could make like a little wooden hatchet. Start building the boat base. Look at all those nodes. You know what I'm smelling, editor? A farming montage. Oh, actually, we have a chainsaw. We're good. Alright, so I think I'm only gonna go for stone and sulfur right now. Mainly stone is what I need, but if we can just cook up some rockets and raid those guys in the snow, that'd be hype. I know they're loaded. Alright, now it's time for the farming montage, man. Alright, this is what we've ended up with, and I didn't even make it to there, so... I have a feeling that this is gonna be a good farm spot to live in. Now I'm gonna get a bunch of wood. Yeah, I can't be living out of a one-by-one, one, bruh. Unacceptable. Alright, I unfortunately died while trying to get a jackhammer from Outpost. It was just nighttime, so I just figured I'd run over there. But he's actually over there farming with my jackhammer. I just heard him farm. So I'm gonna see if I can't catch him out there. I doubt I'll be able to, but I guess you never know. Problem is I just don't have any like rad protection or anything. It's kind of brutal out here. Odds are he'll go down the cliff instead of up. He was kind of right in the middle of it. He's right over here in this area that he's building. Bruh. Can I make this jump? How the fuck did he get up there? Hello? Oh, that, that's <laughs> that's literally my body bro built on top of my body i don't know if i should go down there can i get back up well i guess we'll find out let me see if i can't door camp him and maybe go deep i will sit out here all night any second now He opened his TC. Lol. Okay. Nice. Does he have a bag close by? That's the real question. Nice. Got my 
goods back. If I'm not mistaken, I left that stuff or some of that stuff in my boat. Oh shit. Bro has been farming. Forgot I had a large backpack. All right, I want to just get out of here though. Two jackhammers, we needed that. All right, I'm going home. I don't know if he's got a base around here or what, but he killed me in that little crevice as I was running home. Bro, I still live in a one by one. I gotta upgrade that. I have a feeling that that was not his main base or his only base. I could be wrong, but I mean, if he's farming metal like that, I doubt it. I can't believe he accidentally opened the DC door, man. Oh, jeez, poor guy. All right, I don't wanna suffer the same fate though. A hundred thousand percent gonna actually upgrade right now. Alrighty. Okay, base upgraded a little bit. I wanna wait to put down the tier two until I'm actually build the boat base that I've been meaning to build. Um, but for now, I will just smelt some of this metal that was generously donated. All right, I think I'm gonna start making the boat base out of twig. Okay, I think something like this. Let me cook, hold on. Wait. Okay. I do not know what I'm doing. I'm not sure if I like this either. Something like that. And then we'll break that, obviously. And then the base portion. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I wonder if I could, like, interlink. No. Doesn't quite work. You see the vision though? You see the vision? I am not sure what's going on, but I am cooking something crazy. Boat barn. Then we could just have like a two by two right there. Maybe that could work. It works. Honeycomb it? Yup, yup. Oh yeah, we can honeycomb all the way around. Dude, very nice. I wonder if I can use that high stone gate. I might be able to, but this is looking good. You could get loot rooms up in here. Nice little main base zone. This is gonna be nice. Oh, dude, look at that. That's like a humble turtle looking house. I like it. Flank base will be hyped too, because if this thing ends up getting online raided, I already know that two by one's gonna come in super clutch. Because there's gonna be raiders sitting on top of these rocks. I'm actually getting something done for once. I feel so productive. I definitely don't like these cliffs up there. Like, I, that's gonna screw me, probably, but uh, we'll see. All right, I don't know. Can you fit a boat in that? That's questionable. I feel like the gate will screw things up, I'm gonna be honest. I think this will be the move. Two finely placed garage doors. Low walls right there so that you can glide a boat over it. I think this is going to be the way to go. Uh, the thing's pretty much completed. 
a little window in there, I guess. All right, I have literally like all the best stuff on me, including this fishing tackle, one of one object. All right, oh my God, that was pretty stressful, but making big moves. All right, the main base part is secure and fully upgraded. Well, okay, the main base part is secure and fully upgraded. So we are good. Pretty much just need to move the rest of my loot down to here and we'll be okay. I like this. This base looks funny. Large just came up. I might go do large. It also seems like it's been getting farmed, so that's even better. Maybe we'll get some counters, but only issue is we're not going to be able to fit a rib in there, just like regular boats, but that's fine until I lose the rib, which will inevitably happen. I think I'm going to leave the AKs back here since I don't really have ammo, and I'll just take the L9 with me. Let's head over to large. made it on the oil. That scientist at the bottom will let us know if anyone comes up swimming. Otherwise, I think we're good to go. All right, we're in the red card room. Give us some good goop. I'm talking insane levels of goop. Okay, that's a pretty insane goop. That's a pretty insane goop too. Dude, the crates on this server are like God RNG, man. I love it. Let's get up to our spot. I'm uh, I'm stupid as hell. I wasn't even recording for uh, the heavy loot reveal, but I got a bunch of expo ammo, a bunch of DBs, Thompson M39, and uh, I got a whole lot of meds. Eh, this should be enough meds for like half a roam. Give us seven C4. Close enough. Oh, close enough. That is precisely what the doctor has ordered. All right, let's get out of here. Damn, dude, this server's just dropping AKs like hotcakes. I think it's time for us to get rocket farming to go raid those guys in the snow. It's gonna take me a little bit. I'll probably, I think I might get a mini. So actually, well, well, actually I need a tier three too. Damn, okay, I guess we gotta just farm more scrap. I could farm the tunnels. Right. Very nice. So I guess I should get a mini first. Because if I get a mini, I'll be able to get scrap quickly to get a tier three. That seems like a logical call. All right, let's go get a mini copter. We're gonna need low grade though. I might just take all my recyclables with me to bandit and see how much I end up with. Oh, we could also use the drones to get a pure ore T for the rockets as well. All right, I ended up with 1,300 scrap. I buy a mini. Server restarts soon, so we're gonna fly over to Outpost and get low grade, and I think a little bit of metal, and we should be good. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use the drones. I actually have perfectly 25 high qual for the Orti. We have 850 scrap, which is not too bad. The server literally just restarted, so I'll, I'll probably just run the underground tunnels. For some components or maybe mill tons why not mill tons mill tons could be fun i actually have not been to mill tons in forever i guess i have to hope someone doesn't find my mini but it'll probably be fine but yeah all we need is a tier three and some sulfur i'd like to go check out their base i don't know if they've upgraded since i tried to raid i've been watching documentary on old roman empire those guys were just like like actual IRL Rust players or some shit. Just building shit because they just like could, I guess, you know? Throwing people into arenas with tigers. They're just actually just Rust players, dude. They just had like too much time on their hands, like carving their face into mountains and shit. I don't know, get a job, you know? Although I don't think I'd want to work back then either because, oh. Yeah, you'd be relegated to like iron worker or some shit. Okay, whoa, another AK, dude. I'm telling you, this service is dropping AK. It is much appreciated. 
All right. It is time to get some farm on. I just ran another oil. Um, got a C4. Really nothing else to report. I think it's uh, it's time for us to farm a bunch of sulfur, craft a tier three, smelt the sulfur, and then get raiding. We have a pure Ortiz, so this is gonna go really fast. I don't think we should do a farming montage because we've already done one this video. We only get one farming montage per video. The most exciting part of any Blaze video. Actually, while we're farming in their area, oh yeah, look at that, they got a mini. Yeah, you did, buddy. They got a mini and they haven't really upgraded much. That's a good sign. I have a backpack full of cheese. This is definitely eight rockets worth. I don't know why I'm bothering to get four. I guess I'm just a little greedy guy. My tea's about to wear off either way. And it's turning night. So I'll probably get headed back home and smelting. I'll make some large furnaces and turrets. I want to pimp out this boat base. I do want to throw some turrets on it. Make it a little cozy. I gotta dabble in the building skins. I keep forgetting I have like the DLCs for that. But I do want to raid these guys ASAP. Since they seem to be still online, if they would just leave a mini out front like that. And they haven't upgraded their base either. So it's pretty imperative that I get what I can. Anyways, let's go get all this cheese smelted. Dude, this base design's kind of cool. I might have enough charcoal to do eight rockets right now. If not now, definitely after those furnaces are done smelting. Also, while I'm at it, I'm crafting up this tier three bench. And while I'm still at it, I'm gonna be productive and I should upgrade this loot room before I put all my sulfur in it. I don't know where I should put the tier three. I don't wanna pick up the tier two. I think, I think right here. Um, yeah, that works. Okay, while the furnaces are smelting, I'm gonna go put a bunch of diesel in the pump jack, get low grade, run miltons, and when I get back, we should be ready to raid, I think. Or at least craft, and then raid. All we need is, like, nine rockets. It's definitely attainable. I think the guys I want to raid are scouting me. That is not good. That or they're going to large. If they're going to large, that's not good for them because I am literally just about to raid them. That's probably good for me, though. They both were, like, fully, fully kitted. Well, one of them just blew up their mini. I have a feeling, though, that because they just blew up their mini, they're going to go, well, I know where we can get a free one. Dude, this new rocket launcher skin is insane. Look at this sight. And it is an awesome skin, bro. That is cool. Last two rockets are ready. I'm gonna bring some stuff to seal. I guess, uh, I guess I'm ready. I hope I'm not being camped. This base is just so easy to camp. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm hoping they're farther away from base right now. 2v1 online raid versus full kit is kind of hard. Not impossible. But I'm kind of cooked right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I am extremely cooked. What am I saying? I guess we'll see if we can make this happen. I didn't even bring a sleeping bag, but honestly, it's a one-life raid anyways. I don't see a mini outside. I think we're good. Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna drop this gate, and I'm blowing their TC. Wait. No way. Did they get raided? There's no TC. Yeah, their base is decaying. Uh, What? Is this a raid base or I don't think they got raided I think their base is just decaying but there's just a mini out front so they must be moving and I think they're moving near me potentially which is why they were flying their minis also while I was doing mill tons oh that that is their two by two right there back there it's the same door skin while I was doing mill tons during nighttime and just smelting uh, a mini kept flying over like three or four times so all right, we got to be on the lookout for a mini copter then. And it's going to be pretty close to me, I think. Oh, I'm getting raided. Oh my god. Dude, I'm telling you, every time I build a cool base, it's the curse of a cool base. They, Dude, the game does not want us to have a cool, fun base. I'm serious. I never get raided, bro. I have to hope there's not a guy up on this hill. I don't think there is, though. He's right down there. I just saw him. Doubled him. Killed 
the other. Seems like they used like most of their rockets. These also aren't the guys. These are definitely the guys that just flew over in the mini just now. Well, there goes that tier two I was saving. Dude, I'm telling you, every time I build a cool base, every time, I swear to God, man. They didn't expect all armored doors, though. They thought I was away from base, dude, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Because they, they flew over and they saw my mini. And then when they came back with rockets, my mini wasn't there. Because I was going to go raid someone else. I wonder if they're going to come back with more rockets. Try again. The boat base raid defense on accident at 4 a.m. Good thing they weren't very bright and sitting up on the hill. I'm not sure if it would have saved them anyways, but they would have had a fighting chance. Did they actually get to see how much sulfur I had? Like, what loot did they actually see? They saw all this. They saw all my wood, but I, I don't think they actually got to see how much sulfur I had, which is probably a good thing. And I think I got an extra rocket for free from that. They also brought me a GL launcher, which is goaded because I needed one of those pretty badly. But they did not bring enough rockets to raid me, that's for sure. I guess now I could go look for a raid and hope that I don't get raided again. <laughs> this base is definitely not going to survive the night. I assume they live in the snow since they both had snow kits on. I'm going to try and hide this other mini as best I can. It's pretty good actually. <laughs> I'm upset that the one group I wanted to raid either got off or got raided or moved. Flank base. I knew this thing would be clutch, man. Alright, so we have 10 rockets now, 5 satchels, a ton of HEs, C4, courtesy, some of it is courtesy of our friends. I'm wondering if I should raid this 2x2 two two right next door to their old maybe base wait there's a mini outside of that again what wait, he opened the front door he's kitted in there isn't there no tc in there oh he's gonna go roof i'm not in a good spot at all let's see if they put a tc they did not can you please not kill me i guess screw it eh an already rated base now. That's cool. Awesome possum, dude. kind of believe him. I mean, dude, there's no TC in here. I should just not be stupid and bounce, eh? I'm gonna break his fucking helicopter, though. 399. Oh my god, dude. That thing deletes helicopters. Are you kidding me? Oh, dude, they can't get out of the base. So they did raid it, because if he could, he'd go to the roof. I'm pretty sure these are the guys that just tried to raid me. Yeah, it is them. Yeah, they can't. he's just trapped in there, I guess. Well, uh, how many rockets did I waste on that? I wasted three rockets on that. I believe him. I believe him. I, I do. I do. You know, it pains me that I do, but obviously, since there's no TC and... The doors are all different skins. It probably is already rated. I guess we'll look onwards. Now, the question is, what kind of base are we looking at? They might try and raid me since they know I'm not in base right now. It's kind of a boneheaded move to rocket that, but I, I let uh, greed get the best of me, kind of. There were those guys in the desert that were building their base, but I'm sure by now it's got turrets and shit on it. There is also that like high qual base thing that I scouted earlier. This guy right here. Never mind, it also got raided. Damn, dude. They do not want to see us raid today. I'll check the desert base because it can't hurt. I mean, if they're online, I don't even stand a chance. Let alone if they have a bunch of turrets. I actually don't think they have turrets on their roof. They have no turrets up here. I could top down this probably. I just heard him take a step, so he's definitely online in here. Guess? I guess I'm doing it. That's right, I'm coming in, buddy. I'm probably dead, or I probably don't have enough. 
One of the two. Why not try? What the fuck? Isn't this a bunker? I'm pretty sure these are bunkers. Can you guys please not do this, man? I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there battery? I am so fucking confused right now. I see. So there's bunker loot in there. I have six rockets and a bunch of GLs. I do not understand this base. This base is so confusing. I'm just going to blow down right here. I don't think he can get out. I think he's bunkered in there. I hope I'm not wrong. This is cooked, though. Oh, I broke their tier three. I can already hear Llama yelling at me. Okay, we hit a loot room. We hit their TC. <laughs> no shot. Any boom? Crafted? Okay, I need to grab this sulfur. Dude, this comp starting to say. Okay, never mind. I will not be grabbing the sulfur because I lagged back down when I jumped. That is a shame. That is a shame. Well, you know what? I got further than I thought, but those guys are definitely gonna offline me. But I'll give it a college try and put a high wall at my front door and hope and pray that they don't raid me. I'm gonna build a mini base before I get off to... Well, hey, we, we, we attempted, we attempted. An online raid against a base like that as a solo man, not bad. Not bad. I have no clue where he threw that grenade from. That thing just kind of came out of nowhere. But I, I respect the grenade play. That was probably like he got that out of a locker, you know? Like they stored one grenade in a box. Ah, damn it. I got so lucky. I hit the TC and everything, but I didn't get crafted boom. So I don't think I could have gone through that garage door. Maybe I could have, but I, I don't think so. I did hit their TC first try though. That base is kind of weak. So those are the guys that tried to raid me. I didn't even know that. I just, I just went through a raid. <laughs> I literally have to wake up in like two hours. Fuck, I wish that raid went well. Six pure Ortiz too. I was just gonna stuff my backpack and bounce. That was all I was gonna do. I was literally just, I was just like, okay, let's just stuff the pack and bounce out. But you know, sometimes it doesn't work that way when you're solo. I don't think I could have played that any better. I actually raided the perfect route. Well, we'll see if we get offline. Either way, this boat base is pretty cool. And tomorrow, if I'm not offline, I can always just get a pure or tier two and go crazy on the sulfur nodes again and raid them in no time. This has been a fun wipe either way. Online raid defense is not bad, dude. Guys, they got stopped by the solo. How many rockets did they spend? I just woke up. They left the fishing tackle. Oh my god, dude. These guys were pissed. They spent like 10 plus rockets, I think. Well, they left the fishing tackle. All right, we're gonna send off the fishing tackle in a monumentous occasion. Go, go, fishing tackle. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a wonderful wipe. I'm gonna rebuild this base. And I'm going to make it advanced. I'm going to make it have power. I'm going to make it do all this cool stuff. And I'm going to try not to get raided. But we still had a good wipe either way last night. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.